Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a relatively advanced Excel staking log. Uh, in this one I've got nearly 700 stakes, as it tells me there. And I know my average stake, like whether I win or lose and stuff like that, the minimum, all, all of that stuff, I'll, sh I'll explain later. This might have to be in two parts, it might not, I don't know. Um, and then you've got all the stakes down here and it's so whenever I put a new stake in say if I won 1 mil it automatically puts all that data in there for me um, ok so we'll go up here file new. You can do this on any version of Excel as well by the way. Create a blank work document. Okay and then here we're going to put the date and then I'm going to look back here to check what I've got. Uh, the stake amount win lose total I think it's actual, which means how much money I actually have. Last five, another. Um. Okay. So what have we got now? Okay, so we put the date in there. Um, let's start off by just making it look nice. So I'm going to click this button here to give it a thick border. I'm going to do that down the sides like so. Okay, and then I'm going to hold control and then semicolon to give me the date. I'm going to drag these out a little bit. Okay, stake. Okay, so this is the first bit of code you'll need, but I'll put all the codes in the description so you can just grab them from there. Okay, the first one doesn't have a code, that's just the number one. Uh, the second one is this, which I'll just copy and paste, but I'll explain to you how it works. So we put one in there, and then that nice bit of code in there. Uh, most of the code in here I didn't actually do, it was someone else called BoomBang49RS, that's their YouTube channel. Uh, you can check them out, there'll be an annotation somewhere on this video if you want to click it for, for that channel. Okay, so basically what this does is says um, if C3, which is that one, is higher than zero, um, then do B2, which is that plus one, so that would be two in there. If C3 is lower than zero, then do the same, B2 plus one. If not, then leave it blank like that. That's all it does. So we're going to want to drag that down four thousand stakes, depending on how many you're going to want to use this log for. Okay, so amount you don't need to put any code in for that. Win or lose. Um, there's a little bit of code in for that. Uh, this says if um, C2 is greater than zero, then put win in 
If not, then lose. Then say lose. And I'm just going to try and edit that to say if not again, don't put anything, and it doesn't like that. Uh, because this, for some reason, it won't actually uh, disappear, it won't actually leave. It, fuck's sake. Um, it won't actually leave it blank. Like that. It'll always say something, no matter whether or not there's something in there. Um, let me just have a look at that. Well, I'm sure some of you guys can figure it out, and then if you figure it out, you can put it in the comments. Like I said, I didn't do all the coding for this. I came up with the idea, and I did most of the basic coding. And then my friend, uh, he sort of did all this. Uh, like, making it disappear and stuff like that. Okay, this next bit of code gets the total for us. This is the total we've made from staking. We can't put it in the first box, so we'll start off there. Basically, it just adds those two together. And then the next one will add those two together, so it will always be up to date and everything. Okay, the actual is the actual amount of money you have. And I started with exactly that much money, so that's... I have and now in my bank I actually have um, money down to the uh, nearest hundred thousand uh, okay let's say we started with 10 mil okay last five we have to start this from the sixth stake and this just works out whether we've made or lost money in the last five stakes, basically. Like I said, all these codes are going to be in the description, so don't try and pause the screen looking at the codes. I mean, you can if you want, but they're all going to be in the description. Other, um, that's just, like, if we've got any more money from anywhere actually that reminds me this um, part of the code that I'm taking that from it doesn't actually have other included in it because I added that later I'm not sure I think it's only the actual that has other in it maybe the total does does the total no it doesn't okay um, I think for that I'm just gonna have to say add yeah, it's just add H something or other. Shall I just grab this entire thing? You don't have to worry about this. I'll sort that out in the description. So that's for actual. And I want to change that to the above one. So that would be F3, I think. I think this is right. Um, that would be C C3 probably we'll check it all works as well there might be some stuff that's gone wrong but we'll flatten it out and H3 I guess Oh, where'd it go? Okay, let's do that again. H3, C3, F3. Done. Okay, now we're gonna drag these down. So that's already done. Yeah, this comes up with lose a lot for some reason. I'd, you know, you might be able to flatten that out. It doesn't on mine, but mine's got exactly the same code. So it's strange, I don't understand it. But mm. Actual. Last five. 
Okay, so say we did 100,000. It's picked up that we won that. It's going to take some go away. It's going to take some time for all those to kick in, like a few stakes, because they rely on having some more data than what we've got at the moment. Okay, this actual should be coming up, but it's not. Why isn't that working? Okay, don't worry about the other, you can sort that out by yourself. It, I know basically nothing about coding, it's just simple adding and subtracting. So I'm sure you lot can do that. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I'll just put the old code back in there. That's not the one we want. Okay. Obviously they're quite random stakes, but I'm just demonstrating to you how all of this stuff works. And the last five has now decreased, and if we put minus minus is in there. Stuff up. Okay, um we wanna highlight that column that uh, holding control you can highlight separate columns and we want to highlight all the columns which are going to have money in which are all of them and we're going to go to yeah it's that go down to more accounting formats and you're going to go on currency and then you're going to go on minus that. Okay, now that's happened because this column isn't big enough, so I'll just stretch out that column. And now we can see clearer what the actual stake is than just some random numbers. But actually, we're going to do that again and we're going to get rid of the decimal places because we don't have decimal places on RuneScape. So you're going to go on. Uh, currency again that move the decimal places down to zero and you can have this in dollars or yen or whatever you want whatever floats your boat um, I'm going to make this look a bit better now so we're going to go here just grab that pencil green and then we'll make that blue and then we'll make your actual column yellow because that's bright and happy and it's going to show you how much money you have but that yellow doesn't fit in with the rest of the colours so we're not going to have it actually hmm I probably shouldn't be spending this much time on colours but Oh, that looks... no, it doesn't look right, that's horrible. You know what, well, you, you can sort that out yourself. I'm sure you're capable. Oops. Hi. Um. Okay, apparently we're going to have to do that again. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to freeze the panels on the top. So like here, these panels here don't move, so it's going to be like that. 